This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Crocus Trail. This is stitched by first starting with the shape that I can really only describe as a crocus leaf. And it's kind of a teardrop with a little dip in the base of it. Then you're going to stitch up lines that go to that little dip. And this, in my opinion, looks, when I was looking at crocuses growing in my garden, I couldn't help but see all of the texture that each individual petal had, not only in their rather unusual shape, almost like a, a bulb of garlic, if you want to describe it as anything, but also with all of the lines that are running, the veins that are running within the petals uh, from the tip of the crocus leaf to the end. And looking at it, I simply had to try and figure out a way of stitching it in free motion. And I think that this came out pretty good. I'm going to try a couple variations of this design as well, just to see what else we can do with it. But I really like the texture that this gives. Um, it is both um, all directional and also fairly tame. You can kind of keep it under control because it's uh, all of the lines are kind of secure within the petal shapes. This is a design that is worked uh, in a rather free-form manner, but I am working it kind of from one edge of my quilting space to another. And because of that, you'll want to put this in places that are fairly open and easy to stitch into. And here's what it looks like when you finish Crocus Trail. For over 150 videos on free motion quilting, check out daystyledesigns.com.